Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Frater Oz again. I wanted to make a video today to talk about uh, the Thelemic concept of love and about balance and how the two relate and give some examples from my life and how this has been beneficial for me, okay? So first of all, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and uh, leave me a comment below. And then down in the description, uh, there's a new Patreon link. Uh, I encourage you to go sign up for that. And I'm also gonna put a link to the t-shirts in the description below to my actual site, even though my t-shirts sit underneath the videos. So the Thelemic concept of love it's something that is often like misunderstood by new people. You know, they see love is the law, love under will. And in their minds, a lot of them kind of translate that in the way that the Wiccan read comes across, which is, you know, and it harm none, do what thou wilt, or do, do as you will. Uh, and they kind of think, uh, I see a lot of people post, <laughs> love is the law. You know, love is the law when they're talking about emotional love or fraternal love. But the concept of love in Thelema, as I've talked about in the Oz Speak series, is more about the unification of opposites. It's more about unifying yourself or unifying and reconciling opposites, okay? And this is not often a super easy to concept to grasp and it it's not often a concept that's widely spoken about in the Thelemic community okay so let's talk about a quote okay now this is off the top of my head so it's probably not super accurate okay but go find it it's in Liberzadi T-Z-A-D-D-I Liberzadi okay and it says my adepts stand upright their head above the heavens their feet below the hells, okay? And then it says, but since one is naturally attracted to the angel and another to the demon, let the first strengthen the lower link and the last attach more firmly to the higher. So it's saying that people who are more naturally inclined to attach themselves to the angel should strengthen their connection to the demon, unite the opposites, and the low, the, the last more uh, strengthen the higher. So the person who is more attracted to the demonic should strengthen their link to the angelic. And this is an illustration of unification of opposites, which is the Thelemic idea of love, okay? Now, how, how is this useful? How is this useful to us as Thelemites? Well, it allows us to create balance in our, in our person, in ourself. Okay, it allows us to create this well-rounded, balanced uh, outlook on the world. Uh, an example of this could be that, like in my youth, when I was younger, okay, I was really abrasive. I was mean. I fought. I was, I was mean, okay? And that's not me, like, trying to talk myself up, but I was a little badass, okay? Fighting and starting fights and starting shit, you know? And then when I like Turk took on the, the motto of Fred or Oz and I had already kind of been in the process of the transformation but I became this kind of Jupiterian type of person who was just the opposite of what I had been in my youth and you know it's funny I give EO 131 a hard time about it but like when we first met years ago when he was like young, a lot younger and before he like was publishing books or he may have back then but anyway like he called me a Jupiterian figurehead as a, an insult when we were going back and forth with one another and uh, and it's true that you know I had spent all of my younger years 
being this abrasive, kick your ass type of person. And then the, the shift happened where I started to integrate a more uh, friendly type of persona. And it really did help me to become a much more balanced person and, and help me to, to change my outlook on the world. And so uni the unification of opposites is something that's very important to a thelemite. And you should consider a, a internalizing that and challenging yourself. If you're, if you're a real meek person who never speaks up and never, you know, rocks the boat or whatever, challenge yourself to uh, become more outspoken, to, you know, speak up. Tell that motherfucker behind the counter at the McDonald's something when they fuck your order up. You know what I mean? Like, try to embrace the opposite side of whatever you currently present as. And do that for a while. Challenge yourself to to do that. And, and the opposite is true. If you're real abrasive and you're real outspoken, try embracing more silence and more uh, meekness. To make yourself more balanced, guys. That's what it means when it says, My adepts stand upright, their head above the heavens, their feet below the hells. You're supposed to embrace all of it. The good and the bad. The, the meek and the aggressive. The uh, angel and the demon. You should be incorporating all of these things into yourself, into your interactions with the world into your magical practice you know you should be integrating these things together and that's what and that's the way I view the Thelemic concept of love is this unification of opposites to bring all things into this same sphere that you then are able to uh, you're able to control you're able to control yourself you're able to more uh, easily understand the actions of others, predict the actions of others, predict the things that are going to happen because you're not just looking at it from one side. You're looking at it as a balanced whole and you're trying to, uh, that's the way the world is. The world is a balanced whole. You have good and evil, love and hate. You have all these things and integrating those things inside yourself can help you to navigate the world more easily and more effectively. Uh, and, you know, this balance, you know, you should read Liber Libre. Uh, that's L-I-B-R-A-E, Libre. Liber Libre, read that one. Read Liber Zadi and look at the, uh, the passage that I pointed out. And then, you know, kind of keep this in mind when you're thinking about love and love under will. And, and, you know, another thing about love under will is that if you think about it as a fraction, okay, a fraction, love under will, love is on the bottom and will is on the top of that fraction. That's why you'll see people write 93, 93 slash 93. That's love is the law, love under will. Okay, and, and this is uh, this concept means that will comes first. The love or the the uh, unification of opposites is secondary to will. Okay, Crowley says uh, love is the law. Love under the will. Love under will. This is these words are spoken for our great comfort. It says, but while will is the while love is the law. Oh, no. But while will is the law, the nature of that will is love. And the, uh, this love does not supersede or contradict that will. And should any apparent contradiction arise, it is the will sh that shall guide thee aright. So he's, he's stressing that will is primary to love. Love is a... Is a the, the unification of opposites, this, this balancing, this great balancing of yourself is a tool that you can use to more effectively pursue and enact your will upon the world. So consider doing that. Consider challenging yourself to 
try to be the opposite. Try to embrace the opposite of the way you interact with things. Embrace it for a while. You know, challenge yourself with small challenges. Try to integrate the opposite into yourself and cause this unification of opposites to begin to occur. Uh, okay, I guess that's all I have about that. I, I appreciate you guys' support. I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. And again, the Patreon is in the description down below. Go sign up for that. You know, support the channel. Uh, we're going to have more topics going forward. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.